Welcome back to AM Buffalo. All right, ladies. We have quite a full house right now because beauty pageants, they have changed over the years and now more than ever, organizations like the Miss Buffalo Scholarship Organization works at changing the lives of young women who take part and the communities they serve. So we are grateful to have, look at everyone Woo! at this table. <laughs> we have Miss Taisha St. Jean, the executive director. Yes, we do. Oh. And Jemiah King, Miss Buffalo. And oh. we also have Madeline Teal, Miss Niagara, as well as Elizabeth Teal, Miss Niagara, outstanding teen. Yes. Thank you so much for being on AM Buffalo. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I love it. They're all just waiting. I love it. So, Taisha, give us the history. Let's start with the history. So, actually, this year, Miss Buffalo is going to be 100 years old. Oh. So, our first Miss Buffalo was crowned in 1922, mm -hmm. and the Miss America organization is actually where we have our franchise through. So, mm -hmm. a lot of people know about the Miss America organization. They give out $6 million a year yes. to women across this country. And they went away from swimsuits and they got rid of that and they got rid of even the word pageant that mm -hmm. was a scholarship competition oh right and our program is falling through and we even have a teen program because yes. of that so we're providing each winner this year a thousand dollars minimum nice. to just winning the crown and also just endless opportunities through their prize package through mentorship leadership they're gonna have a great year yeah so amaya mm -hmm. what has it been like this last year for you tell us your experience well, I've never participated in a pageant competition of any sort until the Miss Buffalo competition. So winning the crown was obviously a monumental expo experience and a moment for me. But my year has looked like having a lot of service in the community mm -hmm. and being able to connect with people in the city that I was raised and born in is no better feeling, honestly. Yeah. Yes, and I would say the same thing for Miss Niagara. <laughs> when you wear the crown, it must feel like you, you have so much gratitude for being in this position, but it's a lot of service as well. So can you speak to that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, throughout my year as Miss Niagara, I was able to promote my program, the Ruby Slipper Project, which is a female empowerment program for girls based on the Wizard of Oz characters. Oh, love it. <laughs> um, so that's a big part of what we do at Miss America organization is promote our social impact initiative. And we all support each other through all of that. We've all shown up for each other at different events and different service opportunities and so you know this this organization is a special place in my heart speaking of support and showing up for each other and it being like a family <laughs> she's sitting next to her sister do you see this <laughs> thank you so much miss niagara outstanding teen for being also on the show can you talk about your experience thank you for having me this year has been incredible it's been Probably one of the best years of my life, getting to go through this, especially with my sister, mm -hmm. has been unforgettable. And getting to promote my uh, platform, Raise Your Voice for Mental Health, is super important to oh, me. It's and wonderful. it's giving me a head start on my freshman year of college since I'm going for psychology. Oh, oh my gosh. So <laughs> Perfect. Oh, she I didn't mention that. that she was top five at Miss New York. <laughs> oh, and see, then Madeline was top well. ten. Yeah. <laughs> so, ladies, if each of you were to give one piece of advice to next year, title holders what would it be definitely remember your why remember the mm -hmm. reason why you got into the pageant world into the competition world of course we're awarding scholarships so a lot of us have an academic drive and remember that that's the end goal at the end of your year mm. and just embrace every moment that you have as this title holder you have the opportunity to use this platform for good and make connections with people in your community and make change so just remember why you're doing this and, and use this platform well and use it to promote what's important to you and make change in your community. Yes. Mm -hmm. And use the platform to empower other young women and inspire them to join the program because it's been a really amazing program. You are great representatives. Yeah. I'm so happy to have you here to speak to this, but Taisha, tell us about this year's event. What do people need to know? So I recently took over the Miss Buffalo organization. I'm a past Miss Buffalo too. Oh, so. congratulations. <laughs> And for me, I think the biggest thing is that we wanted to provide opportunities. This year, we're going to have 19 candidates, and our show is going to be November 12th at Bennett High School. We have a partnership with the Buffalo Public Schools. On top of that, it's going to be from 6 to 9 p.m., and we're crowning actually five girls this year. Oh, so it's going to be awesome. Wonderful. All right, and there's the information on the screen, but of course, we're going to have that on our website as well as our social media. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank for you. Thank you. Telling people about your missions and bringing just inspiration to us this morning. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.